I mean, I think we just ran out of steam. Um, you know, you, you can't knock the effort and what our guys have been doing, um, you know, how they've been competing, you know, uh, bodies down and everybody's had to step up and do a little bit more. And I just thought, you know, um, we ran out of steam there. Knowing that you guys have cherished Dean Wade on the defensive end, lost Sam Merrill to the wrist earlier in the game, Dean stepped up and shot his shot. How important is it for you to know that not only does one person get to step up, but Dean has is capable of that role? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what we need. Um, you know, we just, again, everybody's got to do just a little bit more. Um, because we're, you know, we are so shorthanded at the moment, uh, but we know what guys are capable of, um, and you know, we all got to chip in. But again, you can't knock our guys' effort, and uh, that's been consistent. Tough. I saw that Sam was kind of flexing his wrist last night. But did he fall or? Did yeah, he fell last night in the first half, um, and you know, was able to get through it yesterday, and just woke up this morning sore and then you know obviously went out tried to play uh, and just wasn't able to go i know you said you guys ran out of steam in the, the end of the first half and the end of the third quarter were, were really tough on you guys um all things considered though successful week i mean with all you guys have had yeah I mean, we, we've had a great week uh to go three and one on this homestand and battle the things that we've had to battle um this has been a successful week for us um you know now we just got to continue to put it together and hold down the fort chris JB, um, who made the decision on Sam in the second half to not have him play the rest of the way? Uh, I was told by our medical staff that he just couldn't go. Got it. Yeah. And then um, for you guys, obviously we, we've talked about the three-point shooting, but are, are you sensing that teams are starting to, to guard you a little bit differently lately given this new group of personnel that you guys have been using? Yeah, I mean, I think – Teams, you know, they watch games, um, and obviously they scout and those types of things and try to figure it out. But, you know, I think the Pelicans play their style. They switch a lot. They've got long guys, you know, all over the floor that can guard multiple positions. Um, so I think they did a lot of that switching, which, you know, made us a little bit stagnant early. Uh, but we just got to find ways to continue to try to break the paint, you know, get some easy ones, uh, and then find the kickout threes that we're looking for. Yeah. Evan Dan, I'll write down you. Well, JB, with the team being a little thin right now, are you concerned about Sam's availability for Saturday in Chicago? Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. I mean, obviously, if he you know couldn't finish the game out tonight, um, you know, he's got a couple days, but you, you never know. And you know, he's a tough kid, um, so we'll see what happens. And after such a tight home stand, is it nice that you at least you guys have the day off tomorrow just to kind of rest for a little bit? Yeah, I mean, we need it. Um, again, like I said, guys have been competing their tails off, working extremely hard. Um, you know, so we, we need a day to just kind of uh, get treatment, you know, do all of our um, rehab stuff, recovery stuff, take care of our bodies, and get ready to go get Chicago. Chris. JB, what have you seen from Isaac since he stepped into the starting lineup during this stretch? Uh, I mean, again, I think he's, you know, done a little bit of everything for us. We know, you know, how he impacts the game on the defensive end of the floor. Uh, but I think if you see offensively, um, you know, making shots, driving, you know, uh, finding his teammates. Uh, I think he showed a diversity to his offensive game uh, as well. Have you given him more freedom on the offensive end this year? Yeah, I mean, it's again, it's what he's worked for. Um, and, you know, before, you know, we had him working on those corner threes. Um, but now, you know, he's able to be all over the floor because he's put the work in, shown he's capable of making shots. Uh, we've always wanted him to be a playmaker. Um, I think you just see the confidence in him being able to play off the catch, get to the middle of the floor, uh, either finish it or make the next right play. Last one, Spencer. Spencer Davis, Kansas Insider. Uh, we talked about Craig yesterday about his rebounding. Uh, he has 11 assists tonight, career high. Uh, I think he's got 17 against like two, three turnovers in the last two games. Um, just how he's running the offense right now, and and the way that he's kind of setting other guys up. Uh, I mean, again, he's stepping into a position that's extremely difficult. It might be the most difficult position in our sport uh, to be the starting point guard for a team. And, you know, I think he's figuring it out and he's just showing, uh, you know, the different ways that he can help and how he contributes. Um, but, you know, he's solid. He makes great decisions. Um, and so, again, I think he just needs more time at it and you're going to continue to see him get better. How do you feel like his situational handling is, is like, you know, in a situation like if you're coming out on a fast break and slowing it down or if, you know, he feels a double but he's like, you know, obviously able to kind of dribble his way out of problems? I mean, I think he's got a really good feel for the game. Um, you know, he's got great spatial awareness uh, where he's at on the floor, where the defense is, you know, where his outlets are. 
uh, and all those things. And, you know, he never gets sped up. You know, he doesn't play, um, you know, out of his tempo. So uh, he's able to see those plays and make those plays. Okay, that's no reference.